Today I'm going to show you how to get your stuck bar ends out. This is uh, pretty annoying. It can be challenging at some times, but usually this happens when you either you crashed your bike or you're just tossing your bike down real hard. So let's get to it. These are the tools you're going to be needing. You can use a wine bottle opener. You can find one at your local convenience store usually or a liquor store. Also, you will need a four millimeter Allen key for your bar ends, depending on what style you run. For the bar ends I'm gonna be using, they have Allen keys at the end of it. Some of them you can just push into the side of your bars and pop in. Also, you may need a flathead screwdriver and a ball pin hammer or any sort of hammer. Also, you can use channel locks or a crescent wrench with a hammer. This can be another method you can use to take off your bar ends. And of course, you're gonna need your bar ends. On the left hand side, I have ones that are gonna take an Allen key. And then on the right hand side, I have ones that you just push in and you're ready to go. All right, so there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use channel locks and a hammer and simply pull your grip back and put the channies on the end like so and then just hammer it off if you have the edge on there still in this case we don't have the edge so we're gonna have to try a different method but this does work it's a lot safer than the other methods there's also a different method you can use you can use a flathead screwdriver and you can use your hammer and simply put the flathead screwdriver on the edge where the bar end is and be careful because you can stab yourself and you don't want to do that and begin to hammer in once you get the flathead screwdriver in there you just begin to pry it out and it should just pop out Sometimes it gets a little stuck, you just gotta go in there again. And then boom. There's also another method. I prefer this method, it's easier, but it's a little bit more dangerous. You can get your corkscrew and begin to place it in there. Put a little pressure, begin to twist. Make sure you're under the supervision of an adult if you're under 18. And once you get it in there all the way, you can either yank it out, but if you can't get it out or unstuck, you can also just use the edge of the bottle opener and just pry out. As you can tell, I don't drink that much wine, so that was a little difficult for me. Boom, like so. You got your bar ends unstuck. We're going to put in some new ones. I suggest putting in some new ones because you don't want to ride around like this. This is very sharp or can be sharp at times. And if you fall on this, it's not pretty. Nobody wants to go to the hospital or be stuck with pain for a week or two. I've seen it happen. It's not cool. So we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with the plug-in ones. We're gonna start with the ODI push-in bar ends. You can uh, add a washer right here. Find the right size washer. It's probably like a half inch hole right there, maybe a five eighths. And you can actually put it right here over when you push it in, so you don't get the bar end pushed in anymore. That helps a lot because then you'd have to do the whole process of getting your bar end stuck. So let's show you how you put those in. If you have the washer, just put it over. I don't have one in this case, couldn't find one. But these ones, you just simply put it in. 
You can use your hand, and if your hand doesn't go all the way, you can use the hammer. Boom, now you're good to go. All right, so here's another type of bar end. These are the Odyssey bar ends. Uh, some other companies started making these as well. These, you need your Allen key, your four millimeter. And I like these ones because they're a little harder material. They're like a plastic, a harder plastic. And uh, fairly simple to put in. You just put it in on the end of your bar end. Grab your Allen key. Place it in the hole. Begin to tighten. So what's happening here is the inside is expanding when you screw in so it holds it in place. Careful of over tightening them. They are plastic and they can strip if you go too much. So just nice and snug is all right. And voila, you got your new bar end in. So now that you got your new bar ends in, get out there and ride your bike like you like to do.